Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this is going to be uh, my retrospective video on uh, the original Beverly Hills Cop. So the original Beverly Hills Cop would come out in December of 1984. I would not see it until early 1985, if I remember correctly. It was like end of January, beginning of February of that year. The movie was number one for 14 weeks at the box office. And I still remember going to see it with my mom and her good friend Louise, who she worked with, and her son Tori, who was one of my best friends growing up. And we went and had Chinese food, and we went and saw the movie. And I remember just being blown away um, by this film, uh, seeing it for the first time. Now, I knew who Eddie Murphy was because the summer prior um, in 1984, several months before this movie would come out, my dad had rented Trading Places with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Denim Elliott, Ralph Bellamy, Don Amici. Um, I remember watching that movie. My dad really liked Eddie Murphy, but I didn't know who Eddie Murphy was, but I just remember... Um, really being sort of in awe of Eddie Murphy from Trading Places, but that completely, you know, jumped to a whole new level when I saw this film for the first time. So the plot for Beverly Hills Cop deals with a freewheeling Detroit cop pursuing a murder investigation, which finds him dealing with a very different culture in Beverly Hills. The movie stars Eddie Murphy as Axel Foley, Judge Reinhold as Detective Billy Rosewood, John Ashton as Sergeant Taggart, Lisa Eilbacher as Jenny Summers, Ronnie Cox as Lieutenant Bogomel, Stephen Burkoff as Victor Maitland, James Russo as Mikey Tandino, Jonathan Banks as Zach, uh, Gilbert R. Hill as Inspector Todd, Paul Reiser as Jeffrey and Bronson Pinchot as Serge. The movie was written by Daniel Petrie Jr. and Danilo Bach and was directed by Martin Brest. The first film in the Beverly Hills Cop franchise shot Murphy to an international stardom, won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Motion Picture, and was nominated for both the Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy, and Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1985. An immediate blockbuster, it received positive reviews and earned $234 million at the North American box office, making it the highest grossing film released in the U.S. in 1984. So I was 10 and a half when I saw this film for the first time, so being very young, the one thing I do remember when we watched it for the first time is that I, I remember key moments where I just was in awe of Eddie Murphy. And um, the one scene that I remember being thrilled by, and for some reason it sticks out in my mind, is when he goes into the uh, bonded warehouse and follows the guys that have unpacked the bearer bonds to the loading dock area. I don't know why, when he scales the fence and things like that to get into that area and then antagonizes the customs inspectors and the security guard, I don't know why. That was when I just, I just thought this guy was a god. And uh, just all the swearing in it, how many times they said fuck in this movie. I just, I was just, you know, a little kid going, oh my God. You know, I just thought it was awesome. And um, yeah, those are the things I remember pretty vividly about that. But once this movie arrived on like home box office on cable and I was able to record it, I watched it incessantly. I watched it at my grandparents' house in Manteca when I would stay there. And I remember my grandmother getting the biggest kick out of Taggart and Rosewood trying to get over that wall when they're on Maitland's, uh, Victor Maitland's grounds. Uh, she always laughed at that point. And when Rosewood kept going, police, you're all under arrest. And they keep shooting at him. Like that whole part, I still hear my grandmother's laugh when I watch it to this day. My late grandmother, Josephine. And this film just means so much to me. And again, it's all the performances. This movie is cast brilliantly. Everybody in it is great. Eddie Murphy is a is just he is Axel Foley. So he's just a superstar from the first time you see him at the beginning with the truck scene. And uh, I love Judge Reinhold um, and I love John Ashton. They're awesome as Rosewood and Taggart. Also a big fan of um, Ronnie Cox as Bogomil. I liked him his character a little bit more in the second film, but but he's not in it as much. But he's still awesome in this. I always thought he looked like uh, my basketball coach when I was a kid, uh, Don Bradley, um, but. I love him in this. Also, Gil Hill as Inspector Ty. I remember that scene blowing me away as a kid because it was just like how many times he cussed at him. And uh, the late Gil Hill, he was awesome as Inspector Todd. And then Paul Reiser has a very small part in this. His part is much larger in the second film, but he's great for the small time that he's on screen. And then, of course, Bronson Pinchot is Serge, that iconic scene. I also really like Lisa Eilbacher. I had a little crush on her. She had things about her that reminded me of Carrie Fisher a little bit and uh, just some of her 
mannerisms and uh, the way she carried herself and I always had a little crush on her and I was always sad that she never came back and did um, another Beverly Hills Cop. I know when she was cast it was still a Stallone movie and uh, you know she thought she was supposed to she was supposed to be Stallone's love interest in it and you know, of course you know when they redid it she just became Axel Foley's friend from childhood. I also love uh, James Russo as Mikey Tandino, Axel's friend that gets killed at the beginning of it. Um, their friendship even though it's just a few scenes it really is so well done and it just establishes the friendship of these guys. Just the small scene that they're, a couple of scenes that they're in together before Mikey meets his fate at the hands of Zach played by the terrific and very brutal Jonathan Banks um, I always was scared of that guy after this movie and what's crazy is he's in 48 hours as well it doesn't have any scenes with Eddie Murphy but he is in 48 hours and I always thought that was kind of cool um, but but of course Stephen Burkhoff as Victor Maitland is so good and so chilling because he just has this way about him he's not you know he, he he's he's suave and he just has this gentlemanly way about him very much like i'll, I'll do some horror stuff like like uh, james mason in, in salem's lot he doesn't need to yell he just has this quality about him that's you know so menacing without being loud and obnoxious there's one point where he does yell at jenny and that scene where he tells her to shut up when they catch uh, Foley and uh, Jenny in the warehouse and they realize that they are smuggling cocaine um, That's the first time he raises his voice in it and uh, really well done and again So many great set pieces in this the opening with the truck hijack that scene is amazing uh, The shootout at the end is amazing um, I love this film and uh, of course cannot say enough great things about the soundtrack um, Harold Faltermeyer's score, the Axel F score, is iconic. It is one of my favorite scores of all time. Harold Faltermeyer being one of my favorite composers of all time. The soundtrack for this is incredible. Um, with the Pointer Sisters, Glenn Frey, um, Danny Elfman, uh, Patti LaBelle. Um, I love this film. I'm so grateful I had this film growing up. And I cannot wait to see the continuation of the Axel Foley character in Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. So let me know what you guys think about the original Beverly Hills Cop. Um, again, thank you for sort of indulging me this week on uh, doing some non-horror stuff, focusing on a franchise that really means a lot to me that's outside of the horror genre. Beverly Hills Cop films are very important to me and always have been. And I want to thank everyone again for taking the time to watch this video. Leave me some thoughts down below about uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Let me know what you guys think about it. And stay tuned for some more content coming very, very soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends, I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.